Going back to the mid 2000 <laughs> mid 2000s, excuse me. <laughs> Apple has explained Macs do not get viruses. Well, in recent years, that hard line has been softened a little bit. Yeah, one in ten Mac computers in the U.S. are currently infected with the flashback virus. In this week's compute, this: How do you know if your Mac is safe? Yeah, welcome back, the owner of Schrock Innovations, Thor Schrock. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks Thor. for having me, Thanks guys. Thanks for talking about Macs because I own a Mac. My brother, yeah. my mother-in-law, my mom. He's, so there's he's a lot. Of, there's a lot of people. I am very interested in this. Yeah. We're going to set it up for you. We're going to show a commercial that they. <laughs> They've shown. Just take a look at this real quick. And I'm a PC. Zintite, you okay? No, I'm not okay. I have that virus that's going around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, better, you better stay back. This one's a doozy. That's okay. I'll be fine. No, no. Do not be a hero. Last year, there are 114,000 known viruses for PCs. PCs? Not Max. So, you just grab this one. I think I got to crash. Hey, if you feel like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Memorable commercial, Thor. That's right. So do Max get viruses? Because according to that commercial, no. Well, what you, what you were saying was, you know, how your family has evolved into a, a Mac family. Mm -hmm. That's been happening to a lot of people. So Mac used to have, you know, basically it was educational. And then after education, everybody got over it and got a PC. Mm -hmm. um, over time, they've kind of inched their way into the mainstream to the point where, depending on whose numbers you look at, they have between 10 and 14 percent of, of the computer market share in America. Well, right now, uh, the question, their answer to your question is yes, Macs do get viruses. They never used to because there weren't enough of them out there to make it worth anyone's time to attack. These guys attack computers to make money, and if no one's using a Mac, why would you attack a Mac? Mm -hmm. Well, now that the, the percentage is getting up there to the point where there are 14% of the computer users are Mac users, and most of them incorrectly believe that their Mac can't be infected, mm -hmm. if yeah. we find a way to infect their Mac, they're going to go potentially years before they even realize they have a virus. Well, the company used to say you needed to do something silly in order to get infected, almost like it's your <laughs> yeah. responsibility to be a So, so Apple, user. they started off by saying Macs are impenetrable. And then some viruses, some social engineering viruses came out. So in other words, if you, uh, if you, say, if you get a link in your email that says, click here to watch this cute puppy video, and you go, OK, and you click the link, and it says, click here to download and open the video, OK, and then you're infected. Mm -hmm. Apple turned around and said, well, if you're a moron, of course you infected the computer. The computer didn't get infected. You infected the computer. Macs are still impervious. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the, the reason we're talking about this today is there's a brand new virus that has finally grabbed some headlines called the flashback, the flashback. virus. I think this is interesting. Do yeah. people have to actually do something physical to download this virus, or how does it work? That's what makes this scary. Um, I think the headline on a number of the, uh, the technology blogs is, Welcome to the World of PC where you don't have to do a darn thing to get your computer infected. All you have to do is go to, a web, go to Google, do a Google search, mm -hmm. click on a result, and uh, the flashback virus is if your Mac is running Java, which all Macs mm -hmm. do, and you go to a specific website, or, or a website that has a piece of infected code, your Mac is automatically infected. It's called a drive-by download, or a, on PC we call it a click jacking, where the, you don't have to do anything. You just go to the page and you're infected. Are they websites that have been infected, or are they websites that have been set up to, to Most of the time virus. they're set up. So what, the, what these guys will do is they'll go out and reserve 10,000 different domains. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll grab something that's current and in the news. So when you know, Michael Jackson died, there was tons of websites about Michael Jackson's death. And then they will backlink and do all the SEO and search engine stuff, kind of like what we do at Schrock, but we do the white hat version. They do the black hat version, and they get these things to rocket to the top of the search results. What happens then is when you go to Google search and it comes up at the top, you usually click the first or second result. And it looks like it's everything you need. You go to the website, it has information on it, and then within 24 to 48 hours, Google figures out that this is a, an infection site, and they remove it from the search engine. But guess what? Now they have 9,999 other websites right. that can mm -hmm. take its place. How do you know if you're infected? That's the trouble. On Macs, you don't. Because you've been told year after year that you don't need to buy antivirus. That's the cost of ownership. You might pay more for a Mac when you buy it. Right. But the cost to own it is lower because you don't have to buy the antivirus every year. So here's what we're doing. You know, we extended our maintenance checkup sale for another week over at Schrock, um, primarily because it was supposed to end on Sunday. And in our um, amazing <laughs> lack of foresight, people had other stuff going right. on Sunday. Uh, we were kind of closed Sunday. Sunday. So, um, <laughs> so we decided we would just be That's fair funny. and extend it for another week. And uh, we've actually had Mac users bringing in their Macs because they're concerned they could be infected. To give you an idea here, uh, 620,000 Macs have already been infected with this virus. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we know that is because a Russian security firm actually, they basically hacked the hackers and took over the whole botnet of Mac computers. It doesn't fix the infections on the computers, but it prevents the bad guys in Russia from doing something to 
for, to make the Macs do bad things on the internet. So what, what, what happens to your Mac if you have this virus? Is it slow performance? What else does it do? You know, it's not going to do much of anything right now just because they've disabled the command and control network. But what it would have been doing is it would have been going and attacking websites. When you hear about Anonymous attacked all these websites and knocked down MasterCard, they don't have a giant supercomputer that goes and attacks MasterCard supercomputers and they have a gladiator fight in a ring. They use thousands and thousands of computers or maybe even Macs to send out requests to the MasterCard servers or something like that. So many requests they can't process and then they go down. To give you some numbers here, 620,000 Macs are infected right now. Half of those are in the US and the way that breaks down is one in every 10 Macs is infected right now. Wow. So it's very likely someone in your family is infected. Wow. Well, before we run out of time, we'll look at all of your, your different locations throughout the Omaha and into the Lincoln area. While we do this, is there something you can do at TROC with antivirus and Macs? Oh, absolutely. The, uh, we recommend, of course, for PCs, Norton 360. There is Norton for Mac. It's Norton antivirus for Mac. They don't have a Norton 360 for Mac because it does a bunch of stuff that only pertains to PCs. I recommend strongly you get the Norton antivirus for Mac. Get it on the computer. We can do that for you at TROC and back it with a warranty. But uh, even though it's a Mac, you still need preventative maintenance on it. And we have it on special for $35, and part of that is scanning for viruses. So yeah. for $35, we'll at least tell you if you're infected. And that's there a 60% savings over the regular price just for the next week only. Yep. Thor, great to have you back on Unless the it ends on a holiday. Right. Unless it's Easter Sunday. I Thanks love for how honest forward. you are about it. it. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we visited with a member of the Bean Team to see po past Nebraska Soybean Board visits. Head to OmahaMorningBlend.com, click on past shows, type the keyword soybean, or in Thor's case, you can just type in Shrine. Rock, same thing goes there. All right, so I got the ins inside scoop on the deadliest catch that's coming up. All right, love that show. Plus, yeah. how you can help Holt International help kids internationally.